Hey guys, Lek here. Today I want to share a quick video how to make a floating bed in your bed kid's bedroom. Um, this is great if you don't have a lot of space and you just want to, you know, make more play area. We did this a few years ago. I wasn't making videos then, so I couldn't share. But I want to show you, show you guys what I did. So there's enough space under, as you see, I'll show you first here you know for a whole playroom this seed we're taking this apart right now because i'm actually going to lower it because my son got older so you know all the wiring was originally hidden but we got a little light here to light everything up um all this shows up on my kia if you're interested it's great storage space inexpensive and that's it we've got a ladder going up a little entrance there this is just uh, thick plywood which these days will be a little expensive, so you might want to hold off of any wood projects. Uh, but I heard prices are dropping. Here we got two by six beams. Uh, these were little uh, steel pipes that I cut. Use the bolt to screw it in. Ten rails from Home Depot. Um, and this is mounted to the walls also with bolts. I ran it all the way across from wall to wall for secure fit. It's connected to the studs and enough space for your kids to sit up so you know you just measure customize to the space you want now let's go on top i'll show you guys what it looks like there oh and to quickly show you if you have a cat your cats are gonna love this um they like the high spaces turn the light on to get more light so i did the ladder and since the room is small i did the ladder on the inside instead of on the outside of the bed as a lot of bunk beds are just to save space a little peach so when you go up, this is what you see. We did a little wider version as this is a small mattress right now. You can remove these inner rails here to do the bigger mattress. So that was the idea behind that. And this will definitely hold a few hundred pounds. Here's what I'm talking about, the bolts. So we're using, I think these were half inch or five inch inch bolts by six or eight inches. I got two in every stud. We connected this with some three inch screws as well as these little metal braces. And this goes all the way around. It goes into the wall, um, window right here, and then the entrance. So I'm gonna pop the mattress off to show you guys what it looks like without it. And then I'll tell you guys what we're doing next. And these shelves, Ikea as well. Um, Great investment. And then we did the lights around. It's awesome for nighttime. Here's the view to the bottom. So you need these rails. So here's what this looks like without the mattress. As you see, I just built in the little frame, screwed in with screws from the bottom and the sides here um, to hold the small mattress in. When we're ready for the big mattress, we just remove this, but you can obviously make it custom fit to the size of the mattress you have to save space if you need. There is no cross beams under this as you saw from the bottom. I'll just use the bunch of solid screws to connect everything, hold everything in place. And it's been holding up great. We had two or three people up here with no problem. Weight wasn't an issue. So, but you know, normally you would have the cross beams going uh, across for extra support, but that will just take away headspace on the bottom and on top. So we avoided that. And I'll show you guys the bottom again. So this is what I meant by the screws. We've got screws every few inches going all the way around supporting this. We had to cut an extra piece of plywood here as a foot sheet did not make it wall to wall or about 10 foot space here. So that was that. And the idea now is to clean up less of the clean up rest of this wiring, remove all these shelves, and we are dropping the bed. We're redoing this. We're gonna drop the bed probably a couple of feet off the ground. I'm gonna cut this section here off. Um, and then we're gonna have a shelf along the wall for storage here. And under the bed, there'll still be about a foot or two of storage. We're gonna remove the rail. So I'm gonna get started on this and show you guys the progress. All right guys, here's where we look with all the shelves removed. Now we're gonna start taking this down. And we'll 
probably have it like a couple feet off the ground, maybe less. So it's a quick access bed. And we move the section with the ladders completely and the rails. So I'll show you how that goes. So we're moving the bolts. And as you guys see, these are some huge bolts. So we've got at least a few inches inside the bed frame to be secure so nobody falls out. That's how this was designed. The ladder we made from two by fours and stained it. And here was the notch that was sitting on the inside over here and just had a couple of screws holding it down. So this held up, held up well over the years. So these are the bolts that we used to secure to the wall. I think the six inches, uh, two for each stud. So it was definitely holding up. So the only way to get this down was to cut it as probably because of uh, would expand and it was so tight against the walls we couldn't pull it down i'm gonna have to clean up patch up all these holes but for now i'm probably gonna just install it in the new section i'm gonna cut that excess up as well as when we're gonna need it so here's the underside i am gonna make this shorter 80 inches uh, max and for the inside mattress if we ever upgrade to a bigger mattress but this is the bolts that are basically holding the plywood to the beams nice flat bottoms to hold it up and give it a secure hold and as you see they're spread out all over so i'm going to trim this up and get it ready so this is going to be the new shorter version before you install the beams and connect everything make sure you pre-drill pilot holes as you don't want to crack the wood with the screws same thing on the side so screws all the way on the bottom and then obviously the sides so this is ready for mounting now so since we're re redoing the bed design we decided might as well Paint the room as well. We want a little darker with a different trim now. Painted up the bed. It's all cut and assembled. Now we're gonna pre-drill. Doesn't matter what how you're doing, this is how I did it originally. I'm gonna mark my holes where the studs are already. It's the same location. So I'm gonna drill them and just screw these guys in. I'm gonna do this all around. And since we cut the bed off over here, normally you would screw it into the wall. We're just gonna put a little uh riser here and we're just using a couple tubs and some shelves to keep it the height we want as we're going to use it as storage under as well that's basically it these bolts are going to hold it all up here's what the bed looks like now this is divided for a smaller mattress which we can remove once we get a bigger mattress we use the old piano leg for this corner right here. And plenty of storage. Storage. Plus, we cleared the outlet so easy access. Here is pretty much the final product. So as I mentioned, we got the storage on the bottom now. The bed is solid, just gotta get some sheets, stuff like that. We put up the IKEA shelves back up. And then we also got this one for my IKEA as well. But I did raise it up. A couple L hooks type things, a beam and in there as well, just to support it. And it's floating nicely. So plenty of storage for all the gadgets yeah guys hope this was helpful thanks for watching any questions let me know and good luck building a floating bed